Hey YouTube, Dan Ottawa here, coming at you with my team building series. And this one, we are using Defense Deox. And for those of you who don't know the history about Defense Deox, so it was actually pretty rare to get back in the day uh, because it was in hidden behind EX raids. So those are those were raids that you had to like defend the gym for a while and attack it and stuff like that. And then you get invited to a special raid with only those people who did the same. And then you battle Defense Deox was the main one and you get it. So pretty rare back in the day, but really 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 strong back in the day just because how bulky it was and how small the meta was nowadays it's actually not as strong um i'm going to go over the analysis and go over how i would use it to counter what is actually a really bad record just straight up in the one shield um because you like right off the bat you lose like alteria the spi uh, water spider the azus with the ice beam hydro pump and then like you take bastion on obviously but then like you lose to the ghosts, Cofagris, you lose to a bulkier psychic, you lose to Diggersby, even though you do a super effect with the counters, you lose to another ghost, right? So ghost is gonna kill you. And there's a lot of ghosts. Frostlash, Jelson, Sableye, um Trevenant, right? So these these ghosts are gonna light you up. And there's and there's darks like Mandibuzz, stuff like that. So Mew with so why I like running Thunderbolts is right here for this meta, matchup, the meta champ. I'd rather just have a Thunderbolt there to have a move that I can throw at it. A nine tails, you win with the rock slide as opposed to that. So that's why, like, there's three nine, nine tails here. So there's three more wins here. So that's why it's a little lopsided in the view. But, um, and then you barely beat Registeel. And then obviously get destroyed by Sableye. And the Glaring Stunfit mess up is annoying too because you don't have anything to throw at it. And then Trevenant lit up and Umbreon just out spams you. And here we go with a not amazing record. Um, but I would not run Deox in a 1v1 shield scenario. Uh, what I use Deox for is two things. And I'm going to show you how I use it in these scenarios. Is one, use it as something on the lead that you can throw Psycho Boost and Bail. Because Psycho Boost is actually a really decently fast, it's a fast move to charge to and it's an okay like damage output move. So how I would use it is a lot of time either build up to one or two. If it's like a Nidoqueen queen, it takes super effective anyways, or Toxic Croak, stuff like that. I would just throw back to back there. But for the most part, I'm just building up to like one and bailing into my secondary Pokemon. Or I'm using it as a Pokemon that just absorbs a bunch of energy uh, and uses it as essentially like a shield so my other Pokemon can roam free. So let's look at this a couple teams here. This is sort of an ABB style team. Um, the goal is to like draw out your meta cham or another counter user that cannot really throw anything at the deox let the deox kind of just farm up and then have a bunch of energy coming out also you need like ghost cover your ghost weakness right and uh wall is a pretty good cover for ghost weakness and and uh glenius tempest is okay right it's not amazing but it's okay so it's an abb style team so here same thing i will gladly just throw the psycho boost it's a shadow swampert so if they don't chill this can do decent damage so they do shield, I'm gonna catch immediately on the wall ranks, and he's is an ABB style team, and he's a draw a fighter, anyways. So hit me with the hydro cannon, that's fine. And out comes the Reggie. So I'm already up a shield. Just gonna go straight earthquake here. I'm gonna lose this matchup just because Earthquake does not take it out, but that's okay. I don't need to take it out. I just need to do some good chip damage. Because now it's in counter range. Let's see if they're gonna throw early. They do throw early, that's fine. This will take me out. Because now it's even better, because now I can come in Deox and just farm up a ton. Right, so just take something out that's going to hit you with a focus blast or whatnot. Uh, burn out my clock because it's going to take a while to come up. And do we get the full farm down? I do not. I could shield then. Yeah, as I was saying, Zap Cannon is. Oh, it's just a focus blast. I guess I should learn how to count. I was about to say, Zap Cannon will hurt, so that's why I want to shield it up. But um, so now I have a bad back matchup here, right? And this is where it's still okay because I have two moves here i can just take the hydro i'm countering as much as i can because i need to try and do as much damage before i lower my attack and there we go one move takes it out beedrill comes in the back so i have the rock sides for the beedrill and i have about one and a half psycho boost loaded so psycho boost is kind of how i would play this team right you just have uh i just let this probably let this go because it's not going to take me out and I get to another move, and then I already have the... Yeah, so this game's over. So this team is strong because even though it's my ABB style team, it's also like team bulk, right? Clarion, Stunfisk, and Wall Ring, and Deox are super tanky. Um, in this matchup, I'm going to throw here. 
And I may bail into Glaring Stunfisk, because Glaring Stunfisk, there's nothing that the DS can throw at it. I think I was going to try and catch there. I was going to see maybe what they have first, or Rock Slider. Because I got to try and... Well, I don't need to draw out a counter when there's a counter on the front, so I may not. But you probably should try. I'm going to try and catch you up. Perfect. Because there's nothing that the DS could throw at me that's going to hurt me. So absorb all that Thunderbolt energy. Look at that resistance. Out comes the Wall Ring, which is not a... It's not a bad answer, because it's a Shadow, so this these... Icicle Spears are going to hurt, but it's still going to take two of them. But they're going to add a fast, but Wall Rain, again, Wall Rain is just such a tank. I don't, I don't know if I want to do a series on how to use Wall Rain, but it's a, I'm, I'm expecting a nerf maybe on Wall Rain and Registeel and all these Pokemon soon, but we'll see after Worlds. Um, Icicle Spear comes through, does not take me out, what's good, because I've got a second move off here. They're going to farm me down, that's fine. I have to have a Thunderbolt. I do have a Thunderbolt loaded on a Shadow Wall Rain. We'll just take it out. It's a non-stab, but it's super effective. It still does not take it out. Get the farm down. So I'm up to nothing. They got the Deox still. And what is in the back? A Nine Tails. And this is where I'm just like, okay, this is where kind of Psycho Boost is great because you just kind of throw the Psycho Boost, do as much chip damage as you can, takes it to half, which means it's now within one Earthquake range as opposed to two. So... That's kind of how I play Deox on the lead uh, with these ABBs. I'm still going to shield because I don't want Deox to just farm down here. I'll try and come up with a bit of energy because I'm going to need some for the Deox. So this should take it out now because the chip damage is enough. And now Deox uh, is pretty low. Probably just throw the Icicle Spear. Yep. Yeah. Because at this point, it's probably just in counter down range for my own Deox. They got to throw. That Power Stone went through, so I may shield. Yeah, because that Power Stone went through, so take it out there. So that's an ABB style team. Pretty bulky as well. So the second po second one I'm going to use is uh, basically a cover your weaknesses team. Sort of ABB style as well, but not truly. It's truly just to cover your ghost weakness, right? You have a super, super strong ghost weakness, so come in with a half dark, half poison, and a half dark, half ghost. So, Scrapped in a lead, which is a good lead for me. And they come in with their Cavagrigus, so I come right in here, uh, knowing that I'm just going to outspam here. Shadow Ball's still going to hurt. I'm going to shield it up. Yeah, Shadow Ball still hurts, so I think I probably shield up. I'm going to try and build up a bit here. Cavagrigus is an interesting one, so you don't have like a pure dark, which I do have a dark. I don't know why I didn't come in Drapion, but probably because I, all my fast moves are resisted but that's still they can't really throw anything there but i know that getting ahead of energy i can now just go for the return they do shield uh they're probably gonna try and farm down as much as i can i'm just gonna have to eat this so there's foul play come back in deox here and then it's gonna come down to what they have in the back here i may have to shield up a foul play it's gonna be mm, or they bait me. I can take one foul play. I just shield up just in case it is a foul play, so that's good. And out comes the Trevenant. So this is great. Here we go. I'm running Aqua Tail just because Shadow Drapion is way too like glassy in the Great League. So you guys kind of need a faster move. One crunch. Goodbye. And at this point, they may try and like ramp up to have a foul play coming out here. Because that's what I would do. I'd ramp up and try and come up with a foul play to one shot Deox. Um, but I'm building up to a crunch being like. They may not know that I have Aqua Tail yet because I haven't showed it. So I get to this move, their shield, and then I can just go back to back here. Super spammy. That is essentially covering your weaknesses in a nutshell. Um, there are problems. So like Sableye and lead. So I come Drapion and then I get hit with it, right? So lose the lead hard. If you're going to lose the lead hard, they may have an answer for that in the back. So out comes this. Um, this is going to take me out. I have to come in Deox, maybe get ahead of that energy, but I'm still going to be switch locked. I'm going to try and grab a shield, take it down to the one shield. I always say take it down to the one shield if you can. Uh, so I will take it down to the one shield. Can I fully farm at this point? I don't think so. I think I got too far ahead on energy. But now I'm not going to get a bunch of farm in my Deox. And I still may get a move off, quite honestly, too, because they built up a lot. So I don't get a move off. That's good. I got to come my own Sableye, but I'm behind on energy. So what I want to try and do is maybe throw, and one foul play does not take out. So I was trying to CMP here because maybe I can like Thunderbolt it. But this is, I think is the wrong move, quite honestly. I think you just got to 
come in with your own stable eye and hope for the best, but this is not a good so they do shield, so maybe I can now get a move off and they come with their Skarmory, which shields down. I'm in Brave Bird range, so no good for me here. And then they're gonna have their Sable Eye on my thing. So that is that game. This game is lost. So it's not just guaranteed wins with <laughs> with covering your weaknesses, uh, depending on where they are. And the last team is where you're still covering your weaknesses, but I threw a glass cannon in the back because it's essentially what you need is DX to sort of absorb damage. You have a Trevenant, which is hits hard. It's glassy, but it hits hard, and you can grab shields. And then the Zangoose also covers your uh, ghost weakness with, with the uh, Shadow Claws and Night Slash, and it has a nuke. So in this sort of team, is kind of just use DX to get shields down. Uh, I'm going to, again, blast this right away, because this will do super effective and take it out, probably. So... They got a shield, and now I can just come Trevenant. So I got my one shield advantage. Uh, I'm going to let this go, because it's only going to be Poison Fang. The second one will take me out, so I got to just try and throw a move. Yeah, throw a move right before it. Even if it does not take them out, me out, that's fine. Take them out, it's fine, because I'm probably fine going down here. Am I going to come Zangus right after this and just get ahead on Shadow Claw? Or am I going to build up more with my... I think I may just come Zangus. Yeah. Get ahead on the claw. Of course, look how much damage that does. But now I'm almost at a close combat. So this is great. I can just shield once, build up a bunch. Hit him with close combat. This will probably take it out, I assume. It does take it out. Goodbye. Out comes the Sableye. Right? So still not out of the woods yet because I'm in trouble. I'm trouble in the back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and just get ahead on energy. Maybe shield once? Because what I want to try and do is chip it as much as I can or just let it go. Force their energy. Oh, they undercharge too? I don't know why they undercharge. Because what I wanted to do is try and force their energy because then I could just... Because their shot claws are resistant, right? Because I'm half normal. So I could have easily got to two moves. Uh, but now I have two. They're not going to be able to claw me down. And I have two shields. So two shields and goose is more than enough for a ghost that resists the claws. So that's the teams. Um, there's other combos you can use. Uh, that I just didn't use here. Uh, like, because Deox does well against, like, you can just, again, you lose Glint, Glare, and Stunfist, but you beat Bastion, you beat Registeel, so you could go, like, Altaria or some sort of flyer in the back. Um, and then, like, there's other combos with this, but I just find you just need to cover your Ghost Weakness. If you're going to use this, cover your Ghost Weakness as much as possible. Uh, so those are the teams. Uh, I've done a couple more. I've done Shadow Gramble and Canto Ninetales. So those will be eventually be coming, and yeah, we'll keep this series going. Uh, let me know other Pokemon you want me to, to showcase, and that's it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.